This is the famous horseshoe diagram you may know, CIE, uh, 1936. You can see white in the color. These are all the colors we can see. REC 2020 is the latest with laser primaries. Cinema colors are bigger. Blue ray, which I use as a euphemism uh, for all the world of broadcast TV. And then here we have a little interesting. Oh, it did. So I want to make a point here. This is when you see that horseshoe diagram, it tells you the colors that are available, but it tells you nothing about how bright those colors are. And so it's really important when you're a creative and you're trying to tell a story, you know, how bright a red can I make? Because at some point, you're going to get a situation that will hopefully show here. Or you can have a color that's inside, you can reproduce it, or outside, and you can't reproduce it. So Adobe we said, well, the only way you can really understand all these colors is to build a display that goes much, much brighter, kind of like what you saw with that digital cinema projector. We built a direct view display. It had backlighting on steroids, as I like to think of it, and could make a white that was 40 times brighter. We lovingly call this display Pulsar. And here's a better representation of what the color capability palette. So here's a red. You can only make it this bright if it's a pure red. So you can think of this all possible colors at all possible intensities as a color volume. That's the palette in which a creative, whether in Hollywood or even in a broadcast center, has to tell their story because they can't make colors that go outside of that. And of course, you can see in the real world, obviously, there are lots of things that would go outside of that. And that's the dilemma. If you have a color that's outside of your color volume, what do you do to it? It's a classic problem we have in Hollywood today. The red buses of London that look so wonderful in film, because the film primaries, as you saw, actually go out further. It turns out the red of the red buses of London is outside the normal television color. So the red buses of London look like Campbell tomato soup on your Blu-ray disc, unless someone does something. So we'll talk about that. And indeed, the color volume it's kind of looks like a distorted six-sided pyramid. But the color volume for TV uh, is brighter than cinema. Remember that 48 nits? But it has less color. So we have this problem that the cinema color volume, I tend to try to describe it to the folks, because this is kind of hard to explain, as a soccer ball and a football. And the football is television colors. They go, you know, football's oblong sticking up. And the soccer ball is cinema. And the football goes right through the soccer ball. So there are a set of common colors, but there are colors in both that can't be reproduced. So that's the problem we have in today's world.